How's everyone doing? Hope you're alright on this St. Patrick's Day. Uh, to all those um, Irish that follow me and subscribe to me, uh, well, you have a great St. Patrick's Day anyway. Um, right, broken out from a prison t-shirt. I only wear that. I only wear them for these videos. Fucking God knows I wore them enough when I was inside. Right, today's video is just on a spice epidemic, right, which is it's currently all over the news. Um, people, human zombies and everything else, right. I know a lot about spice, right, in the sense of, um, I've, yeah, I know people that sold, sell, have sold it, sell it. Um, I came across it in prison um, and I came across it while I used to do the doors, right. This drug is fucking... <clears throat> it, it, honest to God, yeah. Right. In America, right, years ago, yeah, back in the back end of the 1990s and stuff, and early 2000s and onwards, right, um, they had an epidemic within the America, uh, crystal meth, right, which has then been brought to life in this Breaking Bad uh, box series that's on Netflix and all that stuff, right? <clears throat> and it was nicknamed, right, the Devil's Dandruff because it was cheap, it was super addictive. Um, and people were just acting like, like tweaking and all this crazy shit, right? Like proper zombie shit, yeah. Right. Spice here in the UK uh, is obviously it's not crystal meth. It's, it's completely different makeup and how it's like what it is and stuff. Right. So what is like what is spice? Or it it is literally it's a synthetic cannabis. <clears throat> And it's made up of cannabinoids, right? And the, the the medically treating and stuff like spray, like chemicals on them and stuff. And it's there's a t, um, a THC makeup, right? So it's like it's cannabinoids. It's quite scientific, to be honest. Um, anyway, um, it's the reason it's so popular. <clears throat> it obviously, it used to be sold as legalized, but then in 2000, and I think it was 16. Um, this new psychoactive substance act came out where it's illegal to sell legalize and people like Dr. Herman's um, it, it was a big business for a lot of people right just because something's made illegal doesn't mean, mean that it eradicates it doesn't mean it vanishes right and that's the end of it all it means then if something's made illegal it just gets pushed on the ground right um, and you know what, yeah, since it's been made illegal, uh, have you noticed, right, since since Spice and other psychoactive substances, right, so formerly known as legalized, right, since the bans come in and it's been made illegal, have you noticed how much more it's in the news? People dying on it, people fucking, people not able to, like, people are comatose on the street from it, right? It's popular, it's very popular here in Manchester, right, amongst the homeless, <clears throat> the reason it was so popular, right, in the, at the start, yeah, is, right, so say it's £40 for a gram of cocaine, yeah, right, it was £20 for a gram of um, spice. That's obviously, for the, 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 since it's been banned and stuff, the price has gone up and, or the price has stayed the same, but the amount you get has gone down, right? Um, so it, it's half the price. It's way more potent. Right, I don't think I don't honestly think that two batches are ever the same. I really don't, because like I say, it's like <clears throat> just a little s couple of like it's like like I say, if you look at the pictures at the beginning, yeah, it literally looks like weed, right? It looks like skunk broken down, yeah, but I, you only need a little smidge, like a drop, yeah, a couple of grains of rice worth in a spliff, bam, you're gone, right? So it's cheap, right? It's, it's double the potency, right? And it, people just take it, right? The reason I... Right, I, I was in prison, yeah? I recently got out, yeah, like a month ago, right? As you'll all know from my previous videos and stuff, right? The thing is with Spice, yeah, the, the chemical makeup and stuff like that, and it, it when people smoke it, my honest opinion, they're playing Russian roulette with their lives, right? Because you do... Right, just like alcohol, right? If you've got 10 different people... And you all drink the same amount, right? It's going to affect each person in pair them differently, right? With spice, uh, a few grains of like, like size of rice, yeah, sprinkled in it like a, a smidge in a spliff, and you're gone, right? I've come across. Do you know what? Yeah, it, and do you know what? It is literally everywhere. It's in prison, obviously prison. There shouldn't be drugs in prison, spice, everything, um, but it's everywhere. It's popular amongst the homeless because, like I say. Um, 
a cheap amount, like a five pound little fucking one pop, or one pop is like <clears throat> one split's worth, <clears throat> and you're not getting much at all for your five pound, yeah? I'm talking like smaller street deals, yeah? Right? And you're gone. And you, you, you don't, you, I've seen it first, and I'd never take it, and I would never advise anyone to take it. This drug is fucking horrible. It's hanging, it smells like fish. When you smoke it, it smells like fish. That's what it's known in prison, fish or spiz, right? While I was in prison on my last stretch, right, like I said, in, in, the, in the two, three weeks before I got out, right, uh, someone died of a drug overdose, right, that was taking spice. And they, they died of a drug overdose. Uh, yeah, you guessed it, on a drug-free wing. A guy called Dan Rawlinson, God bless you, mate, rest in peace, man. My thoughts are with your friends and your family, mate, right? Um, this drug is literally... It, people... When people start taking it, I, there was a lad that was on the cleaners with me right, within the prison. Right? I liked him a lot. But then he started to take the spice. <clears throat> he started with a spliff here, a spliff every few days. Then it was a spliff every day. Then it was a spliff every few hours. Then it was every hour. Right? This kid, yeah, couldn't function without, a, without it. But as soon as he had it, he was gone. He used to put himself behind his door. And he started stealing like toiletries and stuff on the other cleaners and stuff. Um, and like I say, he, he, he would step over his own mother, right? He would steal from his own mum to get the, to get that drug. And that's that that's the world we find ourselves in. Ever since it would, you know what? <clears throat> before it was banned, yeah. <clears throat> like I say, before it was banned, yeah. It wasn't really in the headlines that much. It started. There was a few stories, but look at it now. BBC, like local, like Granada Reports, Manchester Evening News, local, national, are all uh, media are all covering it because the th the fact is, it's such a fucking it's it's everywhere now, right? So them making it illegal has actually made the problem worse. And like I say, in prison, the the guy that died and everything, God bless him, right? There's another kid, uh, Jordan Hyam. Um, my thoughts were with his friends and his family. He didn't die. Um, he took. He, it was his first time in prison. <clears throat> he took spice. Uh, his heart stopped. He died. They fucking. They restart. They managed to restart his heart. Thank God. Um, and he's been left with brain damage for the rest of his life now. Like you tell me where the appeal is in taking that drug. <clears throat> People read the headlines and stuff, and it, it's still about. Do you know what? Yeah. There's like there's tents. <clears throat> in Manchester City Centre, where people are selling it from. Now, I'm not going to disclose where these locations are, because obviously I'm, I'm not going to put the police or anyone else onto it. I'm not like, we don't do that. Yeah. But it is everywhere. The homeless love it. The homeless can't get enough of it. Like I say, it's cheap. It, well, it's cheaper than like a lot of homeless people, right? <clears throat> not everyone, but there are a high percentage that like used to use cr crack cocaine and heroin, right? Um, when I was in prison, in years gone by, and recently, I found people that used to be addicted to heroin, right, that have been weaned off heroin, they tried fish, right, to try and wean themselves off heroin, yeah, fish being spice, yeah, now they're addicted to spice, so what does that say for the potency, the strength, and everything else, right, um, this, this drug is... Like I say, just making it legal doesn't make it, that it doesn't mean it's banned and it's going to vanish, right? It just means it pushes it underground so people are cleverer and stuff. Like I say, the, the police are actually stupid in these matters, right? And then the government, when they pass these silly legislations, right? <clears throat> since since it's been banned, more people are taking it, uh, more people are fucking dying from it, right? If I, if I, if like, I used to be a drug dealer back in the day, I was involved with a heroin and uh, crack cocaine, yeah, back in the day. Right? And I'm ashamed to say that because the drugs, uh, like I say, they're killing people's lives and it actually feeds a cycle of crime because obviously them them druggies have got to, to commit crime, steal, rob, break into people's houses, cars to, 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 feed, their, to feed their addiction and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm ashamed to say that it was involved with the drug trade. <clears throat> I've still got friends that sell it now. If I wanted to go and get a load right now, I could go and get some. It doesn't appeal to me, the drug. I wouldn't sell it to anyone. There's profit to be made on drugs, of course, and it's and that's why it's so lucrative. But at, when you see the headlines and stuff, I grew, I don't know where, but I grew a conscience, right? And this is why I wouldn't make money from the drug world anymore. Like, it is a very lucrative like market and stuff, and there's a lot of money to be made. 
people are running drug empires from in prison um spice is now like i say it's more popular there's so many drugs within prison that the overall price of drugs overall has come down but like i say um you're paying you're paying small amounts a couple of quid right five ten pound yeah for a bit of spice right but you're getting smaller amounts of the drug right um and you only need a little bit and people are gone and like i say <clears throat> people in prison right the reason people in prison are taking it is if someone owes money for another drug say they've been taking i don't know pregabs which is a strong nerve like like a strong painkiller very strong people break the tablet down and sniff it subutex right another prison another drug which is it's there to cancel out the effects of heroin but you people get a buzz on it right people take the drug to escape the realization of where they are if you're homeless right and you don't know where your next meal's coming from and you're on the streets and you've got nothing to live for and you can either sit there day after day dwelling on your environment or people can take have a have a cup have a spliff of spice and you only need one and people float away they fucking they're away with the fairies aren't they it escapes the realization of where they are people in prison take it for the exact same reason boredom is one reason people take it in prison boredom is one reason and another reason is because it, it, it you escape the realism of where you are right that that's the sad that's the sad um effects of it and everything else and like i say people in prison some people are actually spiked where so if you owe money to someone right for something right another drug not spice because you've never taken spice and one of the the, the dealer might say to you right i'll tell you what yeah have some of this right and you so you people are forced to take it <clears throat> obviously some people take it willingly and will steal to get it but people are being spiked where they're saying yeah smoke this and you have some and you're gone and slowly by slowly each drag you have it grips you and it grabs you and it grabs you and it grabs you and people hold demeanor change <clears throat> their attitude changes i've seen the, the cleaner that i used to work with right we don't do names right um I liked him a lot, but then, like I say, he got addicted to spice and stuff, and he, he, he was angry, he was anxious when he couldn't get it, and he was he was having withdrawal symptoms from the drug. Um, like I say, the reason it was so popular on the street and like prison is, it's cheaper, it's more potent. You don't need much of it to get off your fucking head, <clears throat> um, and it's big business in prison. Spice is super addictive. Um, it's leading to people are dying on it. People are fucking. You've got. You've only got to look, Google spice, right? And prison or spice, the drug, right? And Google it and go on to YouTube and have a look at videos and stuff. <clears throat> it's a horrible, nasty, disgusting fucking drug. <clears throat> I wouldn't. I wouldn't advise anyone to take it, right? Trust me. Don't take it. All these drugs people take, yeah, cocaine, which is fucking. It's cut with rat poison. I used to be involved with drugs. I know. I know a bit. Right, so like I say, you, you don't take it. You don't know what you're smoking. <clears throat> People used to take G, yeah, GHB, right? And for those that don't know, that are not clued up in the drugs game, right? GHB was an alloy cleaner, right? And people thought, oh, we'll put it into a, a brown bottle with a serrette and we'll we'll drop a drink in our we're bit in our drink and people are, are, are fucking collapsing on it and get, having G fits and ketamine and, which is a horse tranquilizer people take the all these sorts of drugs and don't know what they're fucking taking and then they're dying right people are selfish when they're taking these drugs right they don't think of the after effects for the friends for the family um like i say this spice epidemic it's like i say cheap potent that's why it's so popular if you can if someone comes up to you and says yeah i've got a gram of sniff yeah for about average 40 pound yeah a gram <clears throat> right you can think well hang on I can get that or I can get three, four bags yeah, of spice, depending on who's selling it, how much, all that stuff, right? So you can get three, four amount, two, three, four times the enough spice for your gram of cocaine, right? Like I say, it's a fraction of the price. Um, and like I say, it's still getting into the country. It's all over. 
they couldn't change stuff. And like I say, <clears throat> people that are making money from this drug, right? I've got friends that sell it. Uh, I just, just uh, I wash my hands. I would never even, I wouldn't sit on it. I wouldn't all day. I wouldn't sell it. Um, I definitely wouldn't smoke. I don't smoke, but I would definitely would not smoke it. My advice to anyone, if you're thinking about taking drugs or you're going to be peer pressured, if, you, if you're a young kid, yeah, early teens, yeah, and people are saying, listen, yeah, you want to be in our gang or, yeah, listen, I'm having a bit. You have a bit, right? And you, and you think you're going to give in to peer pressure. Do not fucking do it. Chances are you're playing Russian roulette with your life. All you need is a bad batch of spice. You smoke it, bam. You end up comatose in hospital. Your heart will stop. You rot and you fucking, you, you'll kill yourself. You'll die. It's as simple as that. You'll die. Like I say, on my last stretch, a guy died. Hospital... Ambulances were at the prison every fucking every other day because people were overdosing on spice. Like I say, it takes a big resources on the medical staff on the nine nine nine, um, and people uh, just, just people clue yourselves up, please. Like, don't take it. There's other ways to get a buzz, right? Don't fucking take spice. Like I say, people take it for the, to get to escape the realization of where they are and everything else, but. In doing so, if you could see a video of yourself on the effects of it, some people laugh, but they're stupid, right? The ones that look at it should think, fuck me, like, was I really that bad? And there's bodies strewn across Manchester and other parts of the UK because they're on this spice. And people just video them and take pictures and walk off laughing. It's not right. Right, guys, I'll leave it there anyway. Speak to you soon. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. All right, guys, bye.